Hi, my name's Mark Rushton. I'm the Senior Subdivision Officer within the Development Planning Unit at the City of Greater Geelong. The, the unit consists of approving engineers and subdivision inspectors that ensure that the subdivisions are constructed in accordance with the approved engineering plans. My core role is to manage the subdivision inspectors and ensure that all the council assets, including footpath, road and drainage, are constructed to our current standards. My civil experience began a number of years ago. I was working for a local civil construction company in the Geelong region, mainly constructing subdivisions similar to what the, our inspectors inspect nowadays. I thoroughly enjoyed my time in the industry. Um, laying drainage lines, constructing pits in situ was a really good experience starting out. And from there being a small company that we, we constructed all of the aspects of the subdivision, including uh, roads and um, operating all the various machinery. It was a really good experience and I definitely think it's helped me in, in later years working for council. With the experience gained in the civil construction industry, there was an opportunity that arose at the City of Greater Geelong as a subdivision inspector. I was lucky enough to be appointed to that position. From there, I became the team leader of the subdivision inspectors and then to my current role as a senior subdivision officer. There has been a very large increase in construction activity over the last three to four years within the city of Greater Geelong. We've moved on from approximately 35 to 40 active subdivision stages to average now between 80 and 90. This has put a lot of pressure on our resources to be able to cope with that increase in activity. So we have increased our resources to average eight subdivision inspectors to cover that 80 to 90 active subdivision stages. Not only did we need to look at our resources, we needed to streamline our process and procedures to deal with the higher workload. We aligned our inspectional process with the current civil inspection list in the IDM and also the roles and responsibility section which is really important so as everybody knows nowadays what their actual role is in the construction phase of subdivisions. Currently at the City of Greater Geelong we are driving a very strong focus on a good working relationship between contractors and council and it's really important that we can keep the communication lines open that as we speak that I am available to go to most sites to actually do toolbox meetings for any information or anything that they feel like they require from council to keep them up to date. We've also convened a email portal so any basic information that needs to get put out to the contractors we send that out to all so as we can, are consistent with the, the message that we are delivering across the industry. We have met with a number of contractors and the industry as a whole are very supportive of the approach from council. Under the roles and responsibilities, it's made it a lot clearer that council's inspectors are there for an audit based inspection, uh, not like the old days where we used to go out and uh, basically knock inspections back. What it's done is put a lot more focus onto the construction engineer to ensure that they present works that are, that are to standard prior to calling the inspectors out. We think that's really important that we're not going out there wasting our time. Being audit based we should be going out there. We can't tick the box, we can't proceed, we want to be able to tick the box and we think that that's really important. This has led to less conflict on site with the construction engineer ensuring works are presented to a standard whereby our inspectors can basically tick the box and proceed to the next stage under the IDM checklist. This is important because it allows for better time management for our inspectors and a better service to the industry. As part of our process improvement, we have also gone fully electronic with our inspections. Our inspectors now carry a Surface Pro instead of going on site with 12 or 14 manila folders of A3 paper. And the advantages of that are that if there's an inspector away on an RDO on a holidays, that the other inspectors are able to access their binders which are stored in a record management system, update their notes and on their return, all of the information is electronically being updated. Being in an electronic format, we have found that the consistency that we're able to deliver to the contractors, that we are not having binders lost or information lost, it's all easily accessible. And the ability to be able to pull up information in the field in an electronic format has been a, a distinct advantage. Overall, we've found the changes and the alignment with the IDM and the roles and responsibilities have made a, a vast improvement to, a, to our systems and our processes. It's made it a lot more clarity with uh, everyone's roles, including developers, contractors and council. <laughs>